Okay, so I really think this is a, a super nice mini home projector, and this one was sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review. You can see behind me the screen, and we're gonna take a look at the quality of the picture, the quality of the audio. We're gonna connect this to our Bluetooth. Okay, so from the home screen, you have several different options here. You can mirror from your Apple phone, from your Android phone, or you can, uh, you can use HDMI, AV, or USB, completely up to you, your choice, and then you can get into the settings and uh, make some adjustments if you need to. You can connect to the internet. I'm actually in my studio, which is too far away from the router for me to connect to the internet, so uh, we're just gonna leave that setting as it is. Uh, Bluetooth, you can connect your phone Bluetooth. Uh, your projection, you can make all of your adjustments to get a, a, a straight, flat screen. Uh, vertical correction, horizontal correction, uh, quadrangle cor correction, and then your keystone reset. This is gonna be so that you can get a, a squared picture and get the best quality possible. On my home screen, we are going to go over to the Android mirroring, and I do wanna connect, mirror my phone. And this is gonna tell you, uh, this is gonna tell you right here to pick your wireless projection. Uh, your, your updated smartphones today don't necessarily have a wireless projection. What I have is SmartView or you're going to have DeX. I'm going with the SmartView and the I'm going to connect to the MCAST as it says and there is a picture of my home screen. Next thing I want to do is just check the quality of the picture and then the audio as well because I think that those are very important. If you're having a movie night to, uh, to have good quality picture and good quality audio. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, go into YouTube and we're going to listen to just a little bit of non-copyright music. We want to take a look at the picture quality and the audio quality. So when I first play, my phone is currently in the portrait mode and when I turn it horizontal, that's when we get the full screen. Using my remote control, the volume is maxed out. Now in my opinion, while the lights are low, you get a really good quality picture here. The audio I think is plenty fine, especially if you're doing uh, maybe an outside movie night or if you're doing an inside movie night and you are in a uh, man cave or you're in a, a large basement room. I'll tell you right now, I am eight and a half foot from the, the projector. The screen and the projector are eight and a half foot apart and I am getting just about a hundred inches on the screen and uh, getting a really good quality picture here. We'll look at one of my one of my videos here just to get a, a reference. This soldering iron was sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review and what you get in the You get a lot of detail in there and uh, again the audio is is good as well. Very nice, very nice. I don't have any any issues with that. Okay so the next thing that we want to do here is we want to check our Bluetooth and make sure that we can connect to the uh, the projector and uh, we're going to go into our connections we're going to click on our Bluetooth and uh, there is the blue droid projector so we are going to connect to that we're just going to see if we can play a little bit of music through here so you could if you wanted to in fact use your projector as a speaker for your music you uh, you have that option to do that. Okay, so my honest opinion of this uh, this little mini projector is that this thing is a powerhouse. It has a really good, great quality picture. The audio is fine. A, a lot of these you need to connect to an external audio speaker. Uh, the the uh, internal audio here is great. By the way, in the, the settings, you can uh, set the equalizer to get your bass, your tenor, your treble, and all of those set to a place that provide you with the best audio experience possible. You can also change the, the focus right here on the focus dial and you can also change the keystone where you can get a, a squared picture that fits, that fits the screen perfectly. Now my projection was eight and a half feet from the projector and uh, we was getting just nearly a hundred inches on that, that screen. I was using my own personal screen but this package does come with a screen that you can set up for yourself. It is a gray screen. Mine was a white screen, uh, but that gray screen is going to allow you to have an excellent, excellent quality picture. It does also come with this tripod, which I think is super handy. And uh, you can you can either use the tripod or and set it on a table, or you can just set the, the projector on a table and you can use the balance foot right there that goes into the bottom of it. 
on top of the projector you do have all of the uh, the settings that are push button here or you can use the provided remote control i find everything to be easier with the remote control now one neat thing about this is the uh, the remote control can be used either from the front or back here on the front side is an ir uh, lens and then on the back side you have an ir lens all you got to do is go into the settings and tell it you're going to have it front or back and uh, and then it's going to turn that particular lens on you got a headphone jack you got an AV jack, you got two USB ports, and then you have an HDMI port. On the other side is where you're going to find your power, and uh, it does, of course, come with a power cable, and it also does come with uh, your RCA jack so that you can hook it up to just about any TV. Now, you can hook your laptop up to it. You've seen that you can hook your phone up to it. Uh, you can hook your desktop up to it. Uh, you can Bluetooth your phone. You can mirror your phone. So many different options here. And, you know, it was just a really simple setup. It only took just a couple of minutes. The projector is eight and a quarter inches long, and it is six inches wide. This thing, this little guy right here, is definitely a powerhouse.